Jayco 267, basically like new bunkhouse, just came in on trade here at Haylitz. Uh, one owner originally sold right here at Haylitz RV, and uh, folks said, man, you know, I just, I, uh, I hate to swap the thing out because there's nothing wrong with it, but we just need a different floor plan. We don't need those bunks. So they're changing uh, this out for the uh, uh, updated equivalent uh, rear living room, the J-Flight SLX 265 instead of the uh, the Swift 2, uh, 267. The, the name Swift just became SLX, so same type of trailer. This is uh, one of the ones that came through with a couple upgrade bundles on it. We've got the power package. It has a power awning, a power tongue jack. Um, these are also UV tinted windows, which is uncommon in a, a price sensitive level of trailer. Usually you get non tinted windows. This will give you more privacy. Um, also give you a, a cooler interior because there's just less light penetrating through. You get less solar radiation heat, less greenhouse effect. Um, this also has a uh, all-in-one DVD CD player inside. Handy little outside shower, which is another really uncommon feature in a, uh, a price-sensitive bunkhouse like this. It's in really good shape. I mean, they, they really took care of it. Uh, it was maintained properly. Like I said, the guy's like, man, there's just had, I've had no problems with it. I hate to get rid of it, but it's just not the right trailer for us anymore. Big storage under these rear bunks right here. You can see all that in here too. And again, it's still a Jayco, even though it's price sensitive. You're still looking at nicer like plywood floor decking, plywood bed decking, things like that. Power awning is a nice touch on this. That's a little more common now than it was when this was first built. And triple steps instead of double steps, again on a price sensitive trailer is uncommon. Uh, I think I've mentioned, if I forgot, 5,640 pounds of fun here. So uh, very comfortably half-ton towable family camper. And a good, a good indicator that I always look for, things like this, where all the original owner's manuals are still present and accounted for. I like that all your important bells, whistles, buttons, and switches are right by the door. They're easy to get to. And this does have a gas and electric water heater. Again, another uncommon thing in this price and uh, market segment. You usually get gas only. Um, uh, sofa can jackknife down into a sleeper. Uh, these little armrests right here, the cushions you see kind of slot in and out. So you can pull those cushions out if you need to fold that down to sleep. Uh, the uh, dinette here, they did some real nice radius and padding work there to really make this thing look sharp. And you know, looking at your fabrics and your upholsteries, you can see everything still has a shimmer and a shine to it. All of your, your tables and everything are, are still nice and clean. This is not dinged up and gouged up. This is just, they used it a little and said, nah, just not the right layout. Uh, even nice little touches like your overhead storage here is self-supporting. It's not, uh, you know, uh, falling down on you or anything like that. Neat thing on all of your Jayco uh, J-Flight series, even uh, this one right here, is that they are 81 inches tall inside in an industry that has a standard 78 inch interior height. Three extra inches doesn't sound like a lot, but you're going to get three more inches in your bunks, in your cabinets, in your shower, and your slide out. That's a lot of extra headroom that adds up very quickly. Uh, another neat thing in this class, this does have central air, which is pretty uncommon at this price point too. Uh, again, a little more common today, but when this was built, very uncommon. Um, Jayco does tend to set the gold standard on a lot of things, and they still do. Now, this big uh, storage over here, this could be uh, either a closet like you see, but it does have removable shelving, and that's what you're seeing up here is one of these removable shelves laying up on that bunk. So you can make this a pantry, a bunk, a linen space, whatever you want, and it's floor to ceiling, 81 inches of just pure storage. Nothing wrong with that. Um, moving back, we do have a, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, half and half bath, half in, half out, but uh, they put the sink outside of the bathroom because what they found is that, you know, when you have a bunkhouse like this where you can sleep six or eight people, the uh, uh, ha trying to get all the kids into one room to get your teeth brushed, go to the bathroom, get a drink, get ready for bed, take a shower, having them able to like brush their teeth or wash their hands is really handy. And that's why they do put a second sink here so you don't use the bathroom and then wash your hands in the kitchen sink. Uh, you, you gotta be careful, you run into that stuff too. Again, tall guy friendly shower, case in point, even with uh, no skylight here, not, not a headroom problem even for taller fellows like me. Uh, moving forward, again, Nice clean look. It looks like there may have been a flat screen in that entertainment center at some point. It's been removed since, but uh, again, your uh, all-in-one DVD system is right there. It's also, you know, like I said, your stereo. Uh, everything is push-button easy, fun and simple in here. Um, the front bed, oh, little shoe garage. That seems like a, just a nothing deal, but once you're camping in a bunkhouse, you find out there's always a big pile of shoes by the door. 
but not now. Now we got a place to tuck those. As dumb as it sounds, those little details are the things that are just those little annoyance factors uh, over the course of your camping trip. Even the original Jayco bedspread still present and accounted for. And we do have big side stands with power outlets for CPAPs and phone charging. His and hers cabinets here for hanging storage for mom and dad. I mean, even nice little crown molding up here. Again, in a price sensitive trailer, little LED spotlights above the kitchen, just nice little touches. Um, you know, it's a base level trailer. It's a basic family level camper, but it's done well. I mean, it's it's very very nice. You know, there's it's like it's like a Malibu LS. You can get the LT and you can get more bells and whistles and pay for it, but you're really not getting a different car. You're getting the same camper here. You're just not paying for extra whiz bangs. Um, and hey, again, half ton towable. So the most common vehicle on the road is going to handle this no problem. 800 256 5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping.